how to run Flutter app in Visual Studio Code. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can run Flutter app in the Visual Studio. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first things first, what you want to do is you want to download the application over here from visualstudio.com and you want to download it by clicking on this button. You're also going to want to download Flutter over here. As you can see, if you just simply search for Flutter, let me go back, Flutter SDK download, it'll open up this website. So we just go over here, click on the Windows button, click on download for desktop. And over here, we just simply scroll down and here you will have install Flutter SDK. And you just simply go ahead and click on download and install and you can download it. And once it's downloaded, you just simply want to go ahead and extract it. So over here, you can see I've already extracted it right here. So make sure you have all these things and we should be good to go and also when you open up the visual studio code right here if you just simply go ahead and click on this explore page or search page if you just simply go ahead and search for flutter over here you can even find it as well or in the extension section right here in the extensions you will find it right here if you have it installed it'll pop up over here as well so you can see these are some of the popular ones and if you just simply search for flutter it will pop up as well right here so you can go ahead and install it as well but since i already have it installed let me just go ahead and close this up you can install it by just simply clicking on the explore button and i've already have it right here as you can see uh, if you just simply click on the plus button and if you click on file you can import it as well if you click on open folder just simply select the folder over here i've already opened it and then just simply select it then it'll pop up right here uh, you can also install it with from the extension section just simply search for flutter and it will pop up right here just simply click on it and then you can go ahead and click on install and it should be good to go so very simple uh, this is how you install flutter now let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video we'll wait for it to be installed and then we we'll, can move on to the next part and there you go it is now installed and you can go ahead and turn it on so very simple uh, this is how you do it this is how you install flutter now if we go back to the extensions over here we can find it installed as you can see right here open it up we can switch to pre-release version as well auto update and as you can see it's installed now if you want to have more information on it we just simply click on this all right and it'll open up in another tab here we can go ahead and check it out so creating a new project uh, go to view go to command palette and press this button right here if you want and then type flutter and select the new project so you can do this as well so if we click over here let me actually make it a little bit bigger so now if we click on the file actually i think this is it so we click on view view command palette and here we just simply search for flutter and here we can run flutter updates run flutter or whatever you want you can go ahead and do that here we go so flutter new project we just simply click on it and then we can click on the application and application and now we just simply select where we want to you know save this application so i'll just go ahead and create a new file over here call it flutter and i'll click on select this folder and create the project in it and boom click on enter and run it and now we are running this application there you go so as you can see now it's running uh, we don't have the sdk so we have to download it it's downloading right here we can set up instructions as well and we can open it up over here but yeah after that there's another thing that you can do you can also run this uh, code onto your phone as well so as you can see if you download it for windows you can download it for other platforms as well such as you know android as well but to do that uh, you would need this option right here which is called android studio so you can download android studio koala and in it you can run uh, the flutter application as well so i already have it downloaded but i'm not going to show you this because that is for another time but yeah after it's done you can go ahead and i think i already have it downloaded but i'm just simply going to go ahead select it right here there you go i've downloaded it and i'm going to select it and we're good to go so right now after that you can go ahead and start the flutter application and you can start editing the code whatever it is you want you can add a new file by clicking on this button 
and type whichever one you want you can open a file by clicking on that button and opening it uh, you can open the folder and if you want to connect to something you can click on the connect and you can select to all these different uh, places as well all these different tunnels wshl github code space whatever you want and you can download it for windows right here as i showed you before if you had already done it uh, you wouldn't need to do it so here you can see we have the android option as well if you download it for the android you can open it up with the android studio which i already have it right here so here you go if we download it for the android studio we can open it up we can configure it right here and we should be good to go but yeah don't import settings and we can click on ok and we can open it up and we can go ahead and install the flutter application on android studio and we can go ahead and use it as well so very simple over here you can see all the bills so you can see google pixel android sdk platform so these are all the things that you need to inst that we have downloaded and we'll just simply install it it needs to be downloaded so keep that in mind we can accept it accept all these license i think we're good to go after that we click on finish and it's going to download and start installing the android components the android visor and then we can go ahead and open up the android applications on android studio as well so there you go there are a couple of ways to do this but yeah just download the visual studio code for windows to make sure you have the flutter sdk downloaded and if you want to use it on android make sure you have the android studio downloaded as well and you should do this beforehand because it's going to take quite some time to download it because there's a lot of repositories to download so yeah keep that in mind but yes very simple this is how you do it this is how you open and run the flutter application on visual studio code so so as you can see i have downloaded the android studio code so now it's ready to go ahead and use it and now it's ready to be used so you can go ahead and use the flutter application over here as well so it's pretty simple we're going to click on more action and click on virtual device manager uh, this is going to create a you know a virtual device so we're going to choose this one right here click on run it's going to launch the emulator right here uh, give it a couple of seconds it should be done and okay it's gonna ask you for a lot of permissions so make sure you allow them i think this is all done let me see i think it's running but i don't see it so over here this is the emulator now we can just simply go ahead and run stuff there we go it's loading up I'll give it a couple of seconds i think this is what type of phone this is currently i believe this is google pixel but i'm not sure so we'll leave it at that all right it's loading up but yeah uh, once it loads up you can go ahead and use the letter app on it and you can emulate it as well and here we go so as you can see it's loaded up i can go ahead and use this phone and if i click on youtube it's gonna play youtube for me all right so as you can see uh it's done it's a little bit slow let me just see over here in the recent application so i have opened it up a little bit let me clear all of that so i can go ahead and use this as well so it's the android emulator right here and i can go ahead and use it click on allow and over here i can literally use youtube shorts right now i'll just search for anything literally anything i'll just literally type in anything maybe you know so as you can see it's actually working we can see youtube shorts and all of that so it's pretty cool now if you click on these three dots it's going to open up the extension right here and now you can go ahead and run the letter application on your phone so yeah pretty cool thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye